Hello, I'm Dougie, I'm 36 from Glasgow and you're joining me on my six month post-procedure video diary. And yep, so six months ago at the private clinic in Birmingham, I had the FUE hair transplant. My surgeon was Dr. Mazakis and without any further ado, I'm going to lean forward now and let you examine the goods. Excuse my big shiny face, I've, I've put a lamp directly next to the computer here so that you can see it very clearly and I know it's given me a big moon face so apologies for that. Um, yeah so I'm six months post-op now and the expectation is that six months after the procedure you should be able to see clearly what your new hairline looks like and over the next six months so up to one year post-procedure the density should continue to fill out so that's something else to look forward to but I must admit I'm already absolutely delighted with my new hairline and and uh, it's actually gone to I'm very open about having done it so it's gone to the point now where like friends and family have actually forgotten that I've done it no one mentions it anymore you know like for a while it was oh I can't believe how, how well your hair's come in that's amazing and you know and and now it's almost as though it didn't happen you know I'm just but funnily enough when I started when I started this video diary, I opened up the application on my computer and I saw my first video diary from the week before I did it. I just, I think my face looks like a completely different shape now. So I'm keeping my hair short anyway. I've just been doing like a kind of number five or something across the top and a number one up the back and sides. And I'll continue to do that until the density does fill out more. Um, oh yeah, on previous videos uh, some folk have asked uh, on the comment section what my donor area looks like so I just had a haircut yesterday I got a number one up the back and sides and so what I'll do I, I don't even know if this will work well or not but I'll spin round on my chair and uh, and let you see the back of my head but there's really no marks at all from the donor site um, I don't have a swivel chair so apologies if this is a little bit clumsy and I've got a scar uh, around about here, which is nothing to do with the procedure. I got that just when I was a kid. So I'll turn around now and let you see it. About right, yeah, cool. So there you go, that's uh, the, the, the back of my head. That's what it looks like. Come forward again. There you go. It's amazing, actually, the amount of people. I mean, again, I'm very open about it. So anyone that mentions hair transplant, I'm always happy to talk to them and uh, and you know tell them what my experience was like and and, and give them the, the the benefit of my experience. You know, um, one piece of advice I'll give to anyone that's that's watching this video and still thinking about doing it. My advice is do it and do it quickly. For me, I spent over a year researching it, and and if I could do it all again, I would just do it a year earlier. You know. So once you've already kind of made the mind, made your mind up, I would just say go for it, man. You will not regret it. Um, in terms of cost, a lot of people ask me about that as well. I don't, I don't really think it's right to mention the, the cost of it because it's a case-by-case -case basis. So I don't want to tell people how much to expect to pay and then they need more plugs than I did and they end up paying more or something. So what I can say is, though, I had four consultations at four different clinics and the, the private clinic was within the ballpark of, of the other three. So actually what swung it for me, to be honest, um, and this comes back to my surgeon, uh, Dr. Mazakis, who, who I was just so fond of. He was just such a nice guy and such a careful guy as well. Um, I've now got the benefit of looking at other people's hair transplants and uh, you know, I, I can just see sometimes that they're not as good as mine and, and I put that down to the skill level of Mr. Mazakis. But going back to my consultation with him, I did ask him a question about cost and he stopped me mid-sentence and he just said, please, uh, money, you speak to the office. He said, for me, you're a patient, not a client. And, uh, and I saw that. That's the guy for me. I like this guy. So that, that really swung it for me and that put me to the private clinic. Anyway, so that's me, six months. Um, I'll do another one of these after a year and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll, I can't imagine it's going to look any better, to be honest, but that's what they reckon it can happen. So there you go. That's um, that's my six-month diary. Hope you hope you like it and anyone that's still thinking about doing it, get in touch with the private clinic and uh, get a consultation and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.